Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Thimbleweed Park Let's Play. Uh, we're going to continue on with, I forget who we are even, Dolores? Yeah. Um, let's see, dial in with modem and fill out, use phlegm job application. Mail filled out job application, get a job, use phlegm, escape from Thimbleweed Park. Oh, we were filling this out, okay. We need to go to that library again and try to find a book. It's already closed. Well, I didn't want to close it. I want to open it. What was, was this the library? No. Walk to the hall here. Here? Was this the library? <laughs> well, I can't remember where the library was. Oh yeah, right here. Indirect. Indextron 3000. Let's uh, use this. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Are you serious? 3.1? Uh. Probably gonna be upstairs, huh? Why not plush toys? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this guy scared me. Hi, can we talk to him? Uncle Chuck should have never talked to you like Uncle that. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. No, you're not. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. That's her dad. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. Need to be more confident. More confidence? You need to be more confident. Stop letting Chuck push you around. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. I feel like that's a final goodbye. All right, they said 3.1. Can we go up here? I know I have a good idea. Where's 3.1? 1.7. Oh, we got go up here maybe? What's the sign say? There's a sign there. Better read it first. It says out of order. What? The sign says it's out of order. Well, how do I get up there? Dad, do you know how to get up here? <laughs> oh, bye dad, love you. Bye dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Well, how do we get... 3.1 is... Can't go any further. Why not plush toys? Signs out of order. 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. Yeah. How do we get to the third level? Anything further this way? No. Dang it, man. Maybe up here somewhere? Maybe it's one of these random rooms up here? Uh, alright, let's open this door. Um, what's in here? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> in here? This one? You? You? Oh my god, what's happening? How about you? <laughs> ah! I don't know what to do! How to get into that... How is a staircase out of order? Alright, let's just walk around this. Did we use both of these doors? We did. Okay. Um. What the heck? Maybe in here? Let's open this one. This is just the kitchen. Let's turn the sink off. <laughs> here we go. Um, there's nothing really else in here. Hmm. 
I don't quite know. Maybe we should go talk to our uncle? Let's use this again. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Section 3.1. Throw one. The sign says it's out of order. Yes, I know. <sighs> um. Anything else we can. I haven't been reading. Later, Roman mustaches. Why not plush toys? The phone book? Can we look at the phone book? I don't think we need anything in here. It's the same phone book that the detectives were using. Okay, well, if we can't do the staircase, let's try... Um, can we pick up the sign? <laughs> no one will miss this out of order sign. Oh, now can I go up there? The out of order sign is gone, <laughs> so it's obviously fixed. <laughs> Haven't been up here for a long time. Are you serious? <laughs> that was the solution? Ha, oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> 3.1. Let's check over here first. Okay, let's look at these paintings. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. Oh, let's look at this one. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. Uh, what about this one? That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. <laughs> That's my Scottish great 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 grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Um, VCR programming. And mucus anywhere? Art of coding. And which one? Which one do you think we'd need? Uh, hi. Uh, programmer's manual. Which one? Um. VCR program, vacuum cleaner program, thimbleweed 64er, toilet computer, looping loop book. Graphics basic guide. Simple basic. Programming. Pascal primer. Most of the books in the library were written by our backers and supporters. They assume all responsibility for their content. Oh! Beginning a book on a programming language, Powerful Pascal. Could be an awesome experience. Its primary purpose of Pascal is for teaching computer science. I think it would be complicated, right? Well, we are about to shatter that expectation. We are sorry to disappoint you, but this book is not intimidating, frightening, or even mildly overwhelming. There are no strange and confusing roadblocks, boring technicalities, or pediatric messages. That's cool. So these are all written. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Uh, right on where her head is. And mucus programming primer. Following book is proprietary and confidential. Man, I hear that work all the time. Any unauthorized reproduction is punishable by fines and or prison. Copyright 1986 M. Mucus Flem. Limited. All rights are reserved. Fraternal company use only. M. Mucus is the greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. M. Mucus was first used in the revolutionary game Mansion Mansion. M. Mucus is a cooperative multitasking language allowing multiple scripts to run concurrently. Allows up to... I'm going to write these down. I have my pen ready because I figured we'd need it for this episode. So 256 room local variables. Um, eight parameters. 
A mucus source level debuggers run on a separate monitor. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Compiled scripts are packed into MFL files for distribution. Shipped games are encoded using the unbreakable Zord encryption. Eight actors can be displayed on the screen at one time. Room backgrounds are compressed into character sets. When the screen rolls, it moves by eight pixels. And Okay. I'm not going to write all those down. Alright, let's go back to the... Um... I can't... I still can't get over the... Hopefully she doesn't, like, fall or the stairs don't break or something. Alright, awesome. So let's go back to our room and try to fill out the rest of that application. Maybe we can write down the questions that we'll need. So let's go back to our room. And we want to go in here. Okay. Use the computer. Use, please, the computer. Please okay. answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. Okay. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. How many room local variables are there? I wrote that down. 256. Next question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll get back back to you on this it'd be better to find some reference book on mucus I before i answer book. these <laughs> i need to study the mucus phlegm right. uh okay so multiple scripts uh run concurrently 256 room local we got that eight parameters Run on a separate monitor. Separate monitor. Uh, variables can be modified while debugging. Variables. Debugging. Piled scripts. MFL files. Ship games are Zor. Kind of like Tor. <laughs> Eight actors. Backgrounds, character sets. I'm writing this down. Uh, eight pixels. And 256 sounds. Okay. Let's try it again. Uh, use this shit. <laughs> I'm glad that she picked up a Please whip. Please answer also, the following the questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. I'm ready. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay. First question, how many room local variables are there? 256. Next question, what do mucus source level debuggers run on? Uh, Vari- or, uh, <laughs> I can't read my right. Separate monitor. Next question, when the screen scrolls, it moves by- Eight pixels. Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Eight actors. Thank you for taking Yay! the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the <laughs> mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, the Printron 3000's printer ribbon isn't installed. Did I take it earlier? Print ribbon. Dry print ribbon. Uh, use this on this. Okay. Use this. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. <laughs> I think I took that out too. <laughs> use the paper on this. There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Alright, did I take anything else out of it? Yay! <laughs> I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Yay! Okay, my application. Then we can mail it off, and we might- we'll probably be done. Uh, pick up the paper. Let's look at this. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. 
Uh, where do I get more ink? <laughs> where do we get a pie? Alright, let's pick up the... Can I pick up the uh, printer ribbon? Dry printer ribbon. Use the glass of water. <laughs> Soaking the ribbon in water will get it wet, but it won't re-ink it. <laughs> um, alright, who has some ink? Probably our uncle. Let's go to his his little workshop here. So let's open this one. Hi, can I open it? Go all the way to the other side, and I think it's this door. Ha! Pick up the ink bottle. Then use the ink. I can't re-ink the ribbon with an empty bottle of printer ink. What? Empty bottle. Hi, Uncle. Do you happen to have a full bottle? Hello, my favorite niece. Um, George delivered this letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Oh, that's right. Do you have any new printer ribbons? I'm going to to my father. He just wants to help. Um, let's give him Uncle the letter. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Wait, I have a question for you. Can we read the letter? Wait, I'm not... Can we go read it and pick it up and read it? It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. Okay. Well, um, let's go talk to him one more time and see. We had a question and we could Hello, ask him. Hello, my favorite niece. Hello. Uh, do you have any. <laughs> George delivered this letter for you. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. What? Thanks, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> um... So... What I can do is go... Can I look at the shell? Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Okay, well, here. I want to try something. Hello, my favorite niece. I have this letter Uncle for Chuck, you. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. Wait. I want to move while you're going over there. Uh, I guess that's a bust. Uh, can I pick up anything? Oh, up Dolores, <laughs> Dolores, Dolores. How many times Aww. have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Okay. Talk to Hello, again. my favorite yes, niece. Yes, yes, yes. Um, how do I make printer how ink? How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline and mix well. Oh. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. I have the gasoline. We picked that up. Uh, we can go outside and get the ash, probably. All right, let's do that real quick. Make the printer ink. We are almost done with our episode, but I want to get this done. If I go through here... Can we it all the way to the other side? Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs and outside and get the ash. Actually, do we have a fireplace that we could look at? Wasn't there a fireplace over here? Walk to fireplace. Pick up. There's nothing to pick up in there. Um. Use. Look at. The fireplace looks very clean. Okay. Then let's go outside and, um, walk to woodpile. Can I use... 
gas on the wood pile. Better not. That might start a fire. That's what I want. <laughs> it's very dry firewood. I want to start a fire. Where do we get ash then? What if we pick this up? Okay. What if we go inside and put the wood in the fireplace? Use the firewood. Use gas. This log should burn really well now. How do I light it? <laughs> uh, we need to find some matches. Hmm. <laughs> Use. I don't the want whip. to whip anything with this. <laughs> All right, we're. If I were matches, have we seen matches anywhere? Um, let's go in here. Ketchup, refrigerator. Nothing was in the cupboards. Cheese, lettuce. Uh, did we open this drawer? There's nothing inside. Yeah, we did. All right. I know we're at the end of the episode, but I want to try to look for something further. Um, let's go in here real quick. Talk to our dad. Was he smoking a pipe or anything? Why not plush toys? Let's talk to him real quick. Okay, bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Just saying goodbye, and <laughs> I really feel like it's final. Um, okay. Let's try upstairs again. Do we have anything in our room? I mean, we don't smoke. Let's try our uncles again. Open here. I'm just gonna go into his room and then we'll go ahead and end the episode. Um, and next time we'll try to see what we can find to start that fire. Scope, robot head, vacuum tube, shells. Hi. Uncle, do you have, like, a lighter or anything that we could... Hello, my favorite niece! Should be nicer to my father. That's Thanks for chatting, Uncle Chuck. Why don't you practice your ASCII conversion? All my trons rely on it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. Mm. Alright, well, we're gonna try to... We're gonna have to find... Just register real quick. Can I open the desk? It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Uh, can I pick this up? I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Use the desk? That doesn't seem to work. Open the desk? Hmm, funny desk. No drawers at all. Bed. Look at the bed. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. Oh, down here. Use the bed? No, thanks. Not tired. <laughs> push the bed? I can't push that. All right. Well, I'll have to figure out... Let's look at this painting. What we can use to... Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about oh. this painting. Wonder why. There's probably a safe behind it or something. All right. We'll have to figure out... I'm. We'll probably look around a little bit and see if there's anything... We're missing something. I know we are. Anything that we can use to start a fire let me just check all our stuff one more time use gas on it I feel like we did see matches at some point but we shouldn't pick them up okay well I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here so guys thank you so much for your support on the series if you do want to see more of Thimbleweed Park let's play make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel otherwise I'll see you guys next time all right bye bye everyone